Okay, so we're going to look at um, systems of inequalities. It is um, 9, I put 9, <laughs> is it September? I think not. I'm pretty sure it's 1, 14, 2014. We'll try that again. And this is systems of inequalities, okay? So if you remember, inequalities is um, these, uh, the greater than or less than symbols. Right? Um, so if you remember, I can't find my mouse. Where is it? There we go. So if you remember, like this is your less than symbol. And remember, if it doesn't have an equals to, we used a dashed line to draw, um, to graph it. And then if it has an equals to, we use a solid line um, in it. And then if you remember, the dash line means um, the points on the line are, are not included in the solution. So the points on the line are not included in the solution. And then if we look down here at the solid line, that would be the opposite the points, and I'm abbreviate, are included in the solution. And just remember, systems of equality, inequalities is we're trying to find the number of solutions in the functions. Number of solutions in the functions. Remember, all lines are functions except for vertical lines, right? All right, so we're just going to graph these inequalities as we've done oops, prior. Um, and I started with this type of a problem on, for, on, on, on purpose. Remember, we start as if it was like this. So, and then we're going to apply the inequality. So we have y equals 6. So we're going to look for... Um, the 6 on the y, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then it's right here. And there's no slope, so that should tell you that this is going to be a horizontal line. And there's no equals to, so that's going to tell us it's going to be a dashed line here. Okay? And then it says y less than 6. Well, 5 is less than 6, 4, 3, 2, all these down here are less than 6. So I'm going to shade the region underneath it. All these are solutions to that equation. Every one of these numbers down here is less than 6. So then we're going to look at this equation. y is greater than 3. So I'm going to look at 3, 1, 2, 3. Here's the 3 on the y. There's no equals 2, so that tells me it's going to be dashed. And it's going to be a horizontal line because there's no slope. This has a slope of 0. And this says y is greater than 3. Well, here's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Those are all greater. So I'm going to shade above it. So we should have a region here between the 3 and the 6 that has both colors. That's called double shaded. We'll call that double shaded. And that means for this system, all these points in the double shaded region are solutions. So this point, this point, this point, any points in here are solutions to this equation. Okay? So just to recap, crap, recap right quick, <laughs> recap right quick, um, we want to graph both these, shade them, and then we're double shading is that's our solution. All right, so let's look at this bottom one here. Okay, so this is in slope intercept form. I'm going to start at my y-intercept, which is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. My slope is negative 5, so that tells me to go down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and right 1. Okay. I don't see an equals 2 here, so that means I'm going to need to dash it. Okay. That was bad. My hand's getting in the way. Sorry. And then I either going to, I'm going to shade the right side or the left side. So if you remember from previous lessons, we pick a test point. 0, 0 usually works pretty good. So we'll plug 0 in for y, 0 in for x. 
So here I'll get 0 is less than negative 5 times 0, 0 plus 6. So 0 is less than 6, that's a true statement, so we're going to shade this side that the test point was on. Okay, and then we're going to go over to the next line. We have a y-intercept of negative 1, so I'm going to come over here to negative 1. And then we have a slope of 2, so I'm going to rise 2 and run 1, rise 2 and run 1. S equals 2 sign here, so that should be a nice solid line down here. If I could draw a nice line, that was not very nice, and I apologize. Okay, so we got a nice, where's my little, there we go. Let's see if I can erase that part right there without doing too much damage. Okay, I'm going to fix it up a little bit. Okay, so again, I can use the same test point of 0, 0. It's on the left side. So I'll plug in 0 in for y, 0 in for x, minus 1, and I'll get 0 is greater than or equal to negative 1. Is that a true statement? Is 0 bigger than negative 1? Sure is. So now I'm going to shade that side again because that statement was true. And so we shade this whole side here. And then you want to look at where your double shading is. So it's a little bit hard to tell because of all these colors, but my double shading is in this region here. I'll try to do that better. So therefore, all my solutions, I'm sorry, this is a, not a great job, <laughs> but all my solutions are where it's a double shaded. So I could pick any point. If I pick this point right here, which is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, that'd be negative 3, 2. That's a solution. If I plug in negative 3 for x and 2 for y, and negative 3 for x and 2 for y, that'll work. Any point in this double shaded region is a solution. So that's how we show our solutions. And if I asked you to give me an example, you could pick any, any coordinate in here. Okay? I and Minecraft Steve. And Minecraft Steve would like for you to try this problem on your own for class tomorrow. Graph these, shade these, and give me one solution. And we'll talk about it in the morning. Stay out of the cave. I'm looking for you. Good night.